Oh, hi there, Internet friends and family. Uh, it's just me, Cody Ray Thompson, making another announcement. Um, sorry, I've been away for a few weeks now. I was uh, in Montreal shooting a feature, and then I was shooting a feature here in Toronto. Um, so I've been very, very busy. And uh, I'm very excited now to give all my attention back to Deadweight. So here we go. Big announcement. The cast. So we have pinned down many of the big the bigger roles in the film, uh, starting with the two leads. So Hal is going to be played by a gentleman named Kelsey Flower. He is a Calgary actor who moved out to Toronto. He is super funny. I actually ended up picking him for this role because I stumbled across his IMDb. I knew I know the guy, but I just sort of found him on the internet and saw his reel and I thought he was hilarious and he he just has the perfect feel for this role. So we're very excited to have him on board. Secondly is a gentleman named Mitchell Verrigan, who is a very, very good friend of mine. Obviously, many of you know this. Uh, he is hilarious. He's been a constant source of comedy for me in my personal life. And um, I, this character is very much made for him. So uh, we're excited to have him on board. And you can actually look out for him in Young Drunk Punk, along with 12 Monkeys he did a couple episodes on. And I forgot to mention Kelsey. You can look for him in a web series called My Imaginary Ex-Girlfriend. Uh, thirdly, and I'm very excited about this, is uh, for the Detective Sash O'Shea role, we've cast my Meisner teacher, Cindy McCauley. Now, she is, from what I've heard, I well, I see it in class too, but she's a phenomenal actor. And I hear this from people back in Calgary, here in Toronto. Uh, she graduated from the Neighborhood Playhouse in New York, working with Sanford Meisner back in 2000. <laughs> and uh, since then, she has been teaching and working, I would say, the last 20 years. She is a vet, and I am thrilled to have her on board and to be working with her and directing her. That would be weird. Um, but very, very excited to have her on board. Uh, we also have um, Matthew Burasa, who is another Calgary-based actor who moved to Toronto. He is a guy that I think you're going to have to look out for. This guy, I hope, will blow up sooner rather than later because he is a phenomenally talented actor. Uh, and he also had a recurring role on Rain here, which shoots here in Toronto. Um, we also have Bob Laguerre and Tom Bolton. Now, Bob just finished doing a show for the Toronto Fringe called Myths and Coffee Cups that got... Uh, an additional show because it was so popular. Uh, Tom Bolton is an award-winning actor, theater actor. Um, both Bob and Tom have worked with me and Meisner. They're phenomenal actors too, so I'm really excited to work with them. Um, yeah, so that's it. We're going to be doing some location scouting this week. Things are starting to move along. Um, now, with the campaign, we have not got to our $8,000 target. We are just over 3000 Now, I have extended the campaign for a week. <clears throat> to give everyone a chance to to get behind it. And now is definitely, we're down to crunch time. So if you were considering giving, please support the campaign now because we are close to the finish line. I've extended the deadline from August 26th to September 2nd. So you do have an extra week, but I would not hesitate. If you, if you can support the campaign, do it as soon as you can. And I would be hugely grateful for it. Um, we're going to pump all that budget into the production now. I'm going to work on having... Um, probably a different fundraising strategy after the campaign ends, uh, or sorry, after we finish shooting. But uh, it's something that we're very, very excited about, and uh, I just want to get this out to the world and get this out to you so you can see what we're trying to do. So once again, thank you for everyone's support so far, and uh, we're looking forward to, to getting to shoot this thing. So hopefully I'll get to see it soon enough. All right.